Hello, praise the Lord. Good morning. Welcome to this morning's devotion. My name is Rosalia. And today we want to look at fixing our gaze. Where are we staring at? And the scripture that will guide us today will read from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. It says, I read the NIV versions. Uh, NIV version, sorry. We do not look at the tribals we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For things we see now will soon be gone, but things we cannot see will last forever. And as I had asked you a question, where do we stare? As Christians here, we have been given an answer. We should fix our eyes on things that we cannot see. What are these things that we cannot see? Eternal life is a promise that we have been given as believers. As we continue to have a communion with God, our hope is eventually we'll be able to experience this eternal life. And God has invited us into his presence to continue to learn about these things. Yes, the surrounding has so many distractions that may eventually make us want to look on our right and on our left. But here we are being given, uh, Paul is telling us and he's challenging us, where are we fixing our gaze? Are we fixing our gaze on the troubles that we are facing or are we fixing our gaze on the things of Jesus Christ? Another story that I like is the story when Peter, uh, when the disciples on the boat and Jesus came walking on water and Peter tells Jesus, if it is you, Messiah, tell me to come and to follow you on water and Jesus tells him come and the moment he comes out of the water he was able to walk on water because he was fixing his eyes on Jesus but the moment the wind and, uh, and the storm became so strong that the waters were wavy Peter began to have fear within himself and that moment he removed his gaze from looking at Jesus and he began to drown so in that story it's showing us how as Christians most of the time we are running to Jesus fixing our eyes on Jesus but at times because of the situations that are happening in our lives or in our environments we tend to fix our gaze on we tend to shift our gaze on the things that are happening within us and what happens is we began to we begin to drown in these areas so here we are being motivated by Paul and also from the story that uh, we got from that I think it's Matthew and uh, from this story we see that with the moment uh, Jesus rescues Peter out of the water. He tells him, why were you troubled? Why were you afraid? So as believers, we need to fix our eyes on Jesus at all times. Yes, the surrounding may tell us a different story. Yes, the environment is telling us a different story. The, the economy is telling us this, a different story. The political uh, and, uh, stability is actually giving us a different story. But if we can anchor our hope, to the one who is the beginning and the end, to the one who is being our provider daily, because we do, we even didn't sign up to see this day, but because of his love for us, he has granted us this day that we may continue to fix our gaze on him. So today may we be challenged, may we be motivated, that we may continue to look onto Jesus. It doesn't matter how difficult the situations are in your life. Just continue to fix your eyes on Jesus. Yes, you don't have what you need to reach where you want to go, but can you ask God, teach me, give me the wisdom, give me the ability to fix my eyes on you. And even as the surrounding tends to draw me uh, uh, elsewhere, teach me to continue to look onto you and to continue to submit on your ways. That way you will be able to grow stronger in our Christianity journey, will grow stronger and even pull more people to the work that we have in Christ. David said, I was young and now I'm old and I have never seen the Lord forsake the righteous. So today, rest, rest in this assurance that we have been given to continue to fix our eyes on the Lord who has continued to rescue us day and night. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you have continued to call us into your presence. And today you have encouraged us to fix our eyes on you. Help us to fix not only our eyes, but our thoughts, our every being to fix it on you. To look for you because you've said whenever we seek of, of you then all these other things shall be added unto us we surrender ourselves today to you that we may continue to learn of you and we may continue to be to remain in your presence and to learn the thing of you and to fix our gaze on you that lord we may not be shaken by the things that are happening on the world but we may be encouraged by the hope that you have given us the hope of eternal life it is true your son jesus christ we do pray believing and trusting amen shalom